All right, so I got this in temporarily. Um, I've got two little uh, screws screwed in just to hold in place there while I find out where I'm exactly going to put the carriage bolts. Um, but there's my new notch now, which is uh, nice and clean. And uh, I will probably do a carriage bolt somewhere in there and probably a diagonal down here because I don't want to obviously do two. And then I'll do a staggered two in the middle. This is about five feet long um, because you want to sister it as I know at least as far as the line goes just for the support. But uh, I'll stagger two in the middle and then obviously do two on the end underneath the floor here. This house did not have subfloors, which is uh, why I finally understood why the floors were so bouncy. But uh, I will be putting in some Adventech uh, subfloor eventually on this. Um, I'll be getting a new board for the notches there. That'll be three two by eights treated. Uh, also carriage bolts holding those together. Uh, and the thing on carriage bolts, uh, from what I understand, I am not a contractor or whatever, but you know, I do enjoy the trade and all that stuff, so I kind of do some studying on it and everything. The carriage bolts, uh, some say, oh, you only need one one uh, washer on the nut side. But uh, from what I understand, you need one also on the opposite side. It has that little annoying square piece. But uh, you just get a washer that's big enough to just go over that square piece. And that's what I have. So... I'll have washers on each end and they will be square. Some people will use the round. Um, I hear that some areas are changing to where it must be square. So I'm just gonna try to think ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do squares on each side for the uh, carriage bolts, just to put that to bed. So uh, I'll be back.